Uh, welcome viewers to our lesson today. This is our 19th lesson uh, for the form 3 class biology lesson. Uh, in today's lesson, we are still dealing with the ecology as the topic. Uh, we are still on uh, the different types of uh, pollution. We talk of uh, water pollution, air pollution, and now we are in the last date. Um, we're dealing with the uh, soil pollution. So our subtopic today is actually uh, soil pollution. Uh, by the end of the lesson, uh, you should be able to describe our uh, causes and effects of our soil pollutants uh, on both uh, human beings and other living organisms. So I hope so you still remember uh, the other types of pollution, their effects, and uh, the control issues. Now, these, some of these effects uh, and uh, control issues are uh, kind of related among us to the three types of pollution. So it's always good to balance the three, you need to take the three and go through them and be able to see uh, most of the similarities. Uh, welcome to the next one. Uh, we begin with the uh, soil or land pollution. Definitely, just like the previous session, we need to remember that when we talk about soil pollution or land pollution, we are looking at uh, uh, the, 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 the disposal or the deposition of uh, substances, okay, either in form of or even energy forms that are deposited in the soil on land uh, to such levels that uh, these uh, amounts uh, actually uh, produce harmful effects on the living organisms, either living on the soil or within uh, the soil itself. So, what are the sources of uh, soil uh, pollution? Now, most of the pollutants are either intentionally or accidentally okay, discharged by human beings okay, into the soil. For example, uh, discharge of uh, chemicals into the soil uh, that can either uh, the discharge can be intentional or accidental. So when this discharge of waste materials or even uh, other forms of energy, for example the nuclear waste is deposited uh, on the soil and then these amounts uh, accumulate or the amount of this waste is to very high levels that can actually cause harm to uh, organisms that drive in the soil, then we can actually uh, talk of our soil pollution having a problem. So remember that uh, these pollutants can either be intentionally introduced to the soil or it can be accidental. Now, some of these examples of these pollutants are actually in form of uh, oxides, oxides of sulfur. For example, we are looking at the sulfur 4 oxide gas, sulfur uh, 6 oxide gas. Okay. How do they enter the soil? Now, these gases are normally discharged into the atmosphere where they combine uh, with rainwater okay, to form acidic rain. And that acid rain uh, falls in form of precipitation. So we have the rain combining with the sulfur oxide. It ends up in a form of rain that falls on the soil. Now when this acidic rain falls on the soil, what happens? It will actually lower the soil pH. It will make the soil acidic and consequently it will affect the plants and other organisms that cannot tolerate the acidic uh, content in the soil. This rain can also lead to leaching of nutrients in the soil. And of course, that amounts to a uh, loss of soil fertility. Uh, again, we also have the aerosols. The aerosols. Uh, most aerosols are actually sprayed to control pests and diseases in plants and animals. And as we mentioned earlier, they contain heavy metals or heavy metal compounds, that is copper and mercury. Now remember these uh, aerosols we're talking about. They are either in the form of herbicides, pesticides, uh, and the like. So, 
with this aerosols being sprayed on either plants and animals, what happens? They can cause a uh, direct death to plants and animals as the accumulation uh, uh, increases. That means the concentration of these uh, chemicals builds up uh, to toxic levels uh, of course in the food chain and that can actually uh, kill a number of organisms. Now this also kills the soil microorganisms. So with the increased toxic chemicals, uh, you would expect uh, the soil microorganisms also to be killed. And remember these are the nutrient recycling organisms that are responsible for maintaining soil fertility. So if these uh, microorganisms, the decomposers, are also killed, then that means soil is bound to lose its fertility and consequently uh, plant growth is inhibited. You may have plants with stunted growth or poor uh, growth uh, actually uh, develops. Uh, the third uh, factor is a particular product. Uh, this uh, will cause soil pollution also. Uh, obviously we are looking at uh, uh, oil pollutants uh, being caused by petroleum products that are normally spilled on land. Uh, for example, accidents that occur and oil tankers spill oil on land. So that can cause uh, soil pollution. Uh, remember that uh, when oil is spilled on soil, the oil soil can also become saturated in oil. And this saturation can kill soil organisms because one, uh, they are deprived of, of oxygen which can lead to suffocation and consequent death of these microorganisms. Uh, this same oil can also coat uh, the plant leaves. Now, if the plant leaves are coated with a layer of oil, that means uh, that the oil has blocked uh, the vicious exchange from taking place, of course, by blocking and the stomach openings, and that means that our plants can no longer carry out photosynthesis because one, they cannot uh, have uh, a carbon-4 oxide they're fusing in as a raw material for photosynthesis. At the same time, respiration is also inhibited from taking place, and then this will directly are killed by the plant because of the inability to fire out respiration, inability for the synthesis, then of course uh, the plants will uh, uh, die. Uh, the other factor that we are looking at as a cause of personal pollution is in organic fertilizers. Now, in organic fertilizers, these are mostly common uh, when it comes to farming. This is whereby the farmers are actually. Uh, applying uh, fertilizers to increase uh, their products or their yield and produce. Uh, remember, inorganic fertilizers contain uh, a lot of phosphates and nitrates. So they either have ammonium phosphates, ammonium nitrates. And then uh, if the farmer uses these particular fertilizers excessively, then there is a likelihood that uh, the soil pH is going to be increased. So that means the soils are likely to be acidic. Now this increased, increased or reduced pH will consequently uh, kill soil bacteria uh, that is responsible for the decomposition of organic matter into humus. And of course, if that occurs then uh, there is loss of soil fertility and soil becomes badly uh, aerated. Uh, that leads to poor soil extraction. We take a break, we come back and we'll be looking at the other process and then the control machines.